Hey everybody, this is Zach with Kelly. Uh, welcome back to another episode live uh, at Living Sisu. Really, really happy to have Shane Griffin on. Today we're going to have Shane Griffin, holistic nutritionist. Hey, how you doing, Anna? Holistic nutritionist and also um, the CEO and founder of Vitamin Patch Club. Hey, Hannah, how you doing? Hey, guys. So... Yeah, we're going to have a real good talk. Real happy to have Shane. He's one of my really, really good friends. Hey, Pops. <laughs> really good friends. And uh, I'm super, super happy to have uh, this guy on. We're going to have a real good talk today. Um, so we're going to wait for him to get on for a little in a little bit here. And we're going to get things going. So welcome back. A living Sisu Live. Super excited to be back on with you guys. Patrick, how you doing? Nasher, how you doing, Jesse? Hey, so hey, this is gonna be a real good one again for the people just joining in. We're gonna have a talk with Shane Griffin, holistic nutritionist and also uh, CEO and founder of the Vitamin Patch Club. Hey, Patrick, how you doing? I'm doing well, thank you very much. Really happy to talk to Shane today. He's got some amazing things to say. And um, yeah, we're gonna get it started once he comes on in a in a minute or so. So if you guys got some questions about living Sisu, um, we're up to some really really cool things. Uh, we're gonna have some nice changes, some 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 positive changes, and a lot of cool brands coming on board in the next week. Really cool, you know. You guys are gonna have some really amazing offers in the next few weeks. I'm really pumped about that. We're just waiting on for our guest Shane to pop in. How was everybody's day? Someone just say uh, say something out here. <laughs> Let me know. All right, so Shane. Let me just send him a quick text. So yeah, we're just waiting on yes, Hannah. Yeah, positivity. You've been reading the John Gordon book, so that's that's really good. Re spreading some real good positivity around. You know, the energy bus. One of my favorite books. He's just replying right now. We're gonna get him on. It's gonna be a good talk. Ah, he says, not letting it, letting him join. Hey Rose, Alex, how you doing? Just waiting on Shane. He's on his way here. Yeah, should be a good talk, uh, Alex. I'm I'm pumped as well. He was saying he had issue. We had oh there he is. There he is. There's Shane. And oh there he is. All right. So here we go. We're we're live. Shane Griffin, holistic nutritionist and founder and CEO of Vitamin Patch Club, new partner of uh of our band here at Living Sisu. Just waiting on him, he'll make his way in the next couple of seconds. Crafting Addict, hello, hello. Rose, what's going on? Maybe the Wi-Fi on the dock where he's going to say hi from it is not as good as we thought. He told me he was going to be on the dock um, <laughs> outside there on his lake. Pretty big lake. Mm, shame. Mm. Oh, Gio, how you doing? What's up, brother? Just waiting on our guests here. Oh, it says they won't accept my request to join. Okay. We're going to check that out, Shaner. Add you. I'm adding you again there, Shaner. There it is. There he is. Hey. I did move up from the dock because uh, because I thought it was the Wi-Fi, so I went to another spot, but it still wasn't letting me. But <laughs> I'm here. Were you running back and forth on your dock? I was. I was running from down here, bud. 
Uh, there you go. <laughs> I was down in that chair. <laughs> You got a good sprint. I see you're beating it. Yeah, you got a good sweat in before we started this, huh? Yeah, yeah. You know, a little a little cardio with Zach to start the day. That sounds about right. <laughs> That's hey, good, it's how man. we spent well, the first right first the... few weeks. We knew each other. The first few days we knew each other was morning sessions in the in the garage doing workouts. Absolutely, we were working out real hard at what six thirty seven a.m. out in LA. Yeah, I you, were, that. you showed That's up, true. man. You showed up. You beat me there <laughs> two times. You know what? That's the Sisu lifestyle. So that's what we're here to talk about, man. Uh, really Absolutely. happy to have you on Vitamin Patch Club as our partner. So the Sisu lifestyle, we talked a bit about that. So today we're going to talk about a whole bunch about tenacity, determination, courage, that strength, that inner strength, all about the Sisu um, lifestyle, living Sisu. I'm so excited to have you, man. We, 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 we talk all the time, but not in this context, man. We're going to talk a bit about your background. And yeah. Uh, yeah, man, founder, CEO of Vitamin Fast Club, you're a performance coach. You've been a keynote speaker. Yes, sir. There it is. You've been a keynote speaker in um, for many events, holistic nutritionist and your motto. We're going to come back to your motto. If not now, when? If not me, who? Yeah, I remember you say that all the time and that, that stuck with me since day one. So talk a bit about your your your. Uh, your background in sports, maybe when you were a kid, you know, talk to us how you got <laughs> it'll be a kid. Um, you know, for, a kid, first, bro. first, I, I'm excited to be partners with you guys at CSU. I love the energy. I love the, I love what you guys are putting out there um, to have this young group of professional athletes doing something else really productive and courageous and, and helping the world. I, you know that that's what I embody. It's all about building purpose and promise with people and seeing positive reactions and what you're doing. Bang on. Couldn't be at a better time too. The world needs encouragement and courage and fearlessness fearlessness so what you guys are doing is awesome especially during covid and, and pandemic and you know yeah, in, any exactly, inequalities in the world all, everything that's going on that's we need exactly voices. what we want to represent and the whole concept of living sisu and the characteristics that they they kind of embody we want to live those every day and i think when the, in, in today's world in this context we need that like you were saying we need that encouragement we need that determination that inner drive uh, that tenacity to keep going. Uh, so, but one thing about all this though, is I know, I know you Shane, and I know you have overcome so much and you help people overcome things. That's what I want to talk about. I want to talk about, absolutely. you know, how, how is it? First of all, you started vitamin pass club. Talk about a little bit how whole life balance where I mentioned sure. came into, you know, your life. Talk a bit about that, please. Yeah. So, well, you know, the history with me is short version. I won't get into all the details. We've got a limited audience and I don't want to bore anybody. Um, but basically with me, I was a nightclub owner for over a decade and I lived that stereotypical life, right? Not every nightclub owner, hospitality person is a jerk. Um, most are honest business people, but I lived the fast lane and I didn't, our family didn't come from that business. So I didn't really get taught the ropes, if you will. Um, I just, jumped into it and the people that I looked up to in the business were not the best of characters. Okay. So I adapted a lifestyle that was, that was, that was very ill chosen. And it was, I was an addict. I ended up drinking excessively and using a ton of drugs for really 20 years, you know? Um, and at 37, I sold my, my nightclubs They became condos and I didn't have a ton of money, but I had enough, you know, and I, I realized that my whole identity, everything that I had built in the club was based on this persona of a person that was, pardon my French, but bullshit. It was all about how I looked, who I was impressing. Um, it was built on false equity, what I call it, like looking mm -hmm. like you have everything, but really not being happy with who you are. And the components with addiction, what happens is if you don't like who you are, you have low self-esteem, low self-worth, low self-value you do things to forget that. In my case, it was drugs. Some people have addiction to sex. Some people are violent. Some people have all kinds of things. And that takes away that pain for a little bit. But what it actually does is makes that pain stronger when it comes back. So in my case, I, I ended up really in a depressive state for a couple of years. Uh, and I, I realized the only thing that was common in my life anymore was my using. So I went to rehab. And in rehab is where I got introduced to holistic life. And that's what changed everything to me. Because I used to have this idea that holistic life was you got to wear like Birkenstocks and you've got to be an ultimate tree hugger and I got to get rid of my truck. You know, all of that kind of jargon. And it wasn't the case. You can be an entrepreneur. You can be 
uh, capitalist. You can be br uh, tough, brave, strong, or compassionate and empathetic, which I believe are also courageous, strong, and tough to exude those those emotions. Yeah. I think they actually embody them more than some guy that can just dummy you, right? Um, right? And I learned the concept of holistic meaning everything, all. And it was just introduced to me because the treatment center I went to wasn't a 12 step, it was a holistic based program. So I, I learned something really fast, really quick, and I wanted to follow it more. Fast forward, as soon as I got out of rehab, I went back to school. I earned a couple degrees in nutrition. I got an applied holistic nutrition degree. I've got a registered orthomolecular molecular health pra practitioner degree, which basically means I'm certified nutritional practitioner, right? right? And look, I wanted to work with people in addiction really. So I wanted to take what I learned and the, the importance of food and nutrition and, and, and healing the whole body, not just the mind, but your digestive tract, your second, your gut brain, getting your circulation back up, getting into shape, really, because that, you know, physical activity, working out and training, kept endorphin rushes, it gets your serotonin levels yeah, up. It gets a lot any of great movement, things going. Any movement just starts firing up that body, and we, and we want to do that as holistic coaches and, and nutritionists. It's not just food. It's never one item. It's always a cycle of things. You got to do a right. little bit of everything, right? Absolutely. So, um, and then I moved to, I, I got my degrees. I, I went back to school for two years and I moved to California originally to work with people in addiction. That was my first step. I wanted to go work with, uh, at the treatment center I went to um, and implement holistic nutrition programs to help the pathology of people recovering. Right. And uh, that deal didn't happen. I moved out there and the, the, the resident, the, the addiction center couldn't bill me through their insurance because I was a holistic wellness coach. And in the US, the insurance was there's no line item to bill me so they said so sorry to, so to, to to be that practitioner of holistic nutrition you had to stay out there pretty much is, that, is what i'm saying yeah well saying? I, I originally moved up because they offered me a job right they're like hey you're gonna come here you're gonna work in our facility they loved my pitch i flew out twice and pitched them i really pushed them on it they they understood what i was saying but everything is commerce man i don't i don't everything's commerce when i got out there they're like you know we've been looking at this we don't know how to bill you to the client we can't build the insurance company for your services, so we can't pay you. And I right. was like, uh-oh. So now I'm in California, which is awesome. <laughs> right? It's a but, great place. Yeah, it's not a bad deal. And I figured what I got to do next. And that's where I met you was Whole Life Balance. And what I basically took with Whole Life Balance, um, I also, by the way, in the meantime, earned my uh, – my my life coaching certificate right um, yes, i remember we talked about that yep. yeah a certified life coach uh, i did that on weekends it was a, it was like a, a six week every weekend program and um a lot of it's common sense stuff you know it's about how to get to the truth really quick and how to be honor the truth and how to move past issues and and jump into positive mindset and how to draw that out of people yep but uh, i opened whole life balance basically on the model of the addiction center i went to having everything there but not just for addicts, for us. Because I'll tell you, the one thing I learned when I started coaching people was not everybody might run to addiction or, or use, but we're all using something to feed or to navigate or to distract from our own issues. All of us, you've got the same fear, anxiety, depression, um, excitement, happy, joy, love. You have the same emotional bandwidth that I do. It's just I previously in my life poorly chose how to manage those emotions. You might, you might throw yourself into athleticism, which is a healthy outlet. You might throw yourself into goaltending and coaching and doing things like this and being a mentor to young goalies, which I know you do with the, with the goal, goaltender school, right? Yep. So I chose very bad ways to exert my stress, trauma, and, and all those things. It's quite the turnaround, and, and that's, it, that's, that's, that's one of the reasons why I admire you so much. We became close friends because of that, of how you approached your, your transformation and, and you change yourself from A to Z. You went from this person and you create a whole better version of yourself. And that, you know, if, if we get back to it, that's, that's Sisu, right? That's the living Sisu. That, it, it is. Way. And that's why, that's why I love the Sisu model. And I love what yeah. you guys are doing because it does embody that. And, and I think that I'm a measuring stick, if anything, and I don't mean to toot my own horn, but it's, I've said this to a dozen more people that have called, reached out to me to get help. Just friends of mine, people from my old community said, Shane, how did you do it? Because I embodied the, the ideology of the absolute party animal. I was in nightclub. My business was drugs and alcohol. You know what I mean? Right. And then I went literally 180. And they're like, how did you do it? And, I'm like, and my first answer to everybody is really simple. I don't order a drink. That's how I stay sober. I don't order a drink. If I don't have one, I won't screw up everything. I'm not allowed. 
right? But the action of doing it, and I, and I can't take 100% credit for going. You know, I had some very good support. I've got, you know, my parents, you've, you've met my, my yep. for sure, my dad. I don't know if you met my mom yet. I but um, so, yeah. I think so, yeah. And uh, I've got amazing parents. Uh, they're extremely supportive of me, and they, and they put up with me till 37 before I went to rehab. Like most parents would have kicked me to the curb. I got an amazing older brother who's extremely supportive, an entrepreneurial brother who was, uh, was able to guide me on the path to get there. He, he was the one that basically said, look, if you think you have a problem, you probably do. Here's a plane. Do you want to go? Basically, you know, and I was like, yeah, because I knew he wasn't. Gonna, my brother doesn't mess around. He wasn't going to offer it twice. You know what I mean? It wasn't like he was going to come back the next day and go, have you thought about it? Do you want to go to rehab? Yeah, no, I it was. was it, let's do it right now. It was and solid. And, and I and I wanted to go. So the, the big thing is when you talk about CSU and courage, look, you have to recognize that we're all flawed and you have to own your flaws. Right. And that's what I call living in your truth. Right. We see that in living my truest life, living my real truth. And we see that quote on Instagram. But what does that mean? What does it mean to live your truth? And it means to identify all your qualities and to accept all of your, all of your faults and really utilize those to, to progress to be a better person. Every day we should be trying to be better than we were yesterday. Every yeah. day. And, and, that and was, it's, that was and it's not challenging, it's not hard. No, no better way than and go, through, go back to whole life balance where you were trying to activate people's lifestyle with, this was a yoga studio, Pilates, vitamin drip therapy, uh, there was, you know, we worked out in the gym in the back and, and that's what you went to. You went from that to activating your lifestyle and, and what a transformation you, you did. And, and here you are now you work out all the time and you feel better than you've ever felt. Am I wrong? No, you're absolutely right. I mean, you know, exactly. I, 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 I take more damage now. <laughs> I'm getting yeah, old, yeah, 45 in a couple of weeks. Um, but, uh, but, but I recover faster. I mean, I do all of the different methods. I'm very, like I said, with the holistic stuff, I do, you know, cold plunges. I was, I've been in Canada all winter. So cold plunging in the leg, like breaking holes in the ice, you know, That's but I awesome, mean, I, I would never have done that before. You know, people could definitely see your videos of you jumping in the lake when it's friggin' frozen. And it was frozen. Just, I was man, moving birds out of the way. You, yeah. You, 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 you created a hole and you went right in. So that, that's awesome. And now let's fast forward. Let's, let's get to the vitamin patch club. So, you decided to start this new venture based on just go ahead. A, a, a couple of things. So whole life balance. I loved, I was very passionate about the business, but whole life we were not, was amazing. But, but we're not doing well. It wasn't a successful model. I, I invested a lot of money and I, and I didn't, I didn't produce what I needed to. Um, we were in Santa Monica and there's a myriad of reasons, but the bottom line is I didn't, I didn't get the job done. All right. I love the concept. I still love the concept. I think in the right, with the right platform, it could work. But I was closing it. I was shutting it down. And I was feeling pretty sorry for myself. I'd lost a lot of money. I was alone in California. And I was feeling like a schmuck. Uh, and we had great press and everything looked good. But you know, behind the closed door, you're like, I failed. So I sat in my, con my condo for like a week and I didn't shave. That's where the beard started. Right? Right. I, just, I just was a slob. I ordered Domino's pizza. I did everything that I wouldn't do as a holistic nutritionist. And I, then I also started coaching myself. I literally started coaching myself in the bathroom. I looked at myself in the mirror. I'm like, okay, so what was your fault and what wasn't your fault? What can you learn from and what, what can't you do? And, um, and I'll answer that. What was the concept? Uh, I'll jump into that because we have a question. Yeah. So the concept of whole life balance was in, in total immersive, holistic mental coaching and body and physical coaching. So we offered several different apparatuses of the wellness center. We had aerial yoga, yeah, Pilates, personal was. It training, was wellness center, yeah. IV drip, massage therapy, acupuncture. Um, we had a couple other medical services in there. Uh, it was a full facility where people could come in and pick from their cart, you know, what they wanted to do that day. So we called it, we called it instead of like a, a, a spa that you would go for mani pedi facial, it was a body, it was, it was a soul spa. It was for your soul. Whether you worked out, whether you got a treatment, whether you sat with a nutritionist, whether you... Some people just came in and hung out in our, our IV room and hung out and watched. Yeah, you I did. did. <laughs> yeah, you know. I was you know? coming in and just hanging out. So I remember you getting your first IV. I'm not going to get in trouble for this, right? This is nothing in this. You were yeah, so worried. It was, just, it was just pretty well, much have saline to. water and vitamin C. I'm pretty yeah, sure. Yeah. <laughs> but um, so the model didn't work. I felt sorry for myself. I looked in the mirror and I said, look, what would you do if you were coaching somebody else? And you'd break it down. And what was your fault? Own your fault. What can you correct? And at that time, I still smoked. So I went, I, I said, okay, well, the first thing you do is get back into the gym and you're going to quit smoking. That's your first thing. You're going to quit smoking and go back to the gym. Never mind about the finance. Never mind about anything else. 
and I figured I, I need to quit smoking. I drive down the convenience store uh, to the pharmacy to get um, something to help me quit smoking. I was going to uh, get a, a prescription of Chantex. All right. And the, the lady said, you can't take write a prescription for your, We had prescription pads for my doctor. So, so I sent you in with the patches. On the way out, she said, she said, why don't you just wear a nicotine patch, Shane? And I'm like, how do they work anyways? And she said, transdermal technology. I said, do they work? Don't she goes, yeah, that's the most effective delivery mechanism. Pharmacist told me that. I literally looked at her and I said, I got to go. And I went back and to the you office. started vitamin patch club right away. I, I, I incorporated it two days later after I did two days of research and data and, and checking into the rates of elimination and bioavailability of nutrients and supplements. And I always knew that we didn't get 100% of a pill but I didn't know we were only getting 10 to 20% of, of oral supplementation, even some of the best brands. I'm not knocking the brands. It's got nothing to do with them. It's how our, how our bodies work, right? It's how yep. we eliminate active ingredients in our body. Can you repeat that just so for people understand there? Yeah, so when you take something orally, right, it has to go through a ser series of areas in your body. Obviously, it has to go into your stomach, and then the hydrochloric acid breaks it down. Then it enters through your pyloric sphincter, which is kind of like a little gate at the bottom that enters into your small intestines. Your bile reduces the acidity on it, and then it starts absorbing through your intestinal wall. So provided your HCL is great, right, and it breaks down to the right amount, and the, your bile and your bile's great, uh, and it deacidifies it, and then it starts absorbing. Every vein in your stomach leads to one vein, which is called your portal vein. It's not in your circulatory system. It's in an intracirculatory system. It goes to your liver, and your liver literally either allows it to go into your bloodstream to get to your organs, to get to your tissue, to get to your joints, to get to everywhere, or it doesn't. And we eliminate almost 80, 80 to 90% of most oral supplements. There are some that absorb because better. Or orally, you only absorb how much? 10 to 20%. And transdermally, you absorb? 90, 90 to 94%. There you go. So that's so, why the vitamin patches are so effective. And, and it's, it's and cleaner. Quick, it's easy, and it, it, it bypasses all the other... You know, exactly. It bypasses the. I say. I say it. it's it's VIP access to the club. That's what my, <laughs> my old analogy. <laughs> there you, you go. VIP. You don't have to but get past the, the bounce of the manager, the concierge. You're right in. <laughs> that's the beauty of it because some people aren't very aware of it. But oral, you know, vitamins, if you don't absorb as much as you think you do. So that's no, why. No, and, and, and again, it's not a knock on any supplement companies. I, I I partnered with a lot of different companies, and I and I, I I know everybody's doing admirable work. So I'm not at all disingenuously talking ill about anybody else. It's just how our body works with bioavailability. Exactly. So uh, I I found this other delivery mechanism, and I was like, wait a minute, why aren't we doing this with vitamins? And as a holistic wellness coach and, and a certified nutritionist, I'm like, I want my clients to be better. I actually want to help people. That's a mission. I want to be, I want to leave this place a better place than I came into it. And probably a little bit of Catholic guilt. I want to fix all the wrongs that I've probably done in, in my lifetime too, to be truthful. And so, that's all right. Now you're doing good. Yeah. It's, it's, I, you know, and, and, and look, you know, we're, we're, I always, I tell clients all the time, you know, this is a lifestyle. It's not a quick fix. It's something you stick to. You still need to exercise. You still need to eat right. My goal as a nutritionist is, is not to be, to supplement you. My goal is to get you eating rights that you don't require us. But the fact of the matter is, in today's world, our food sources are more challenged with the nutrient density than they were 50, 60 years ago yep, because we've, we've eroded the soil nutrient density for years. So there's other reasons why people are nutrient different, never mind genetically, never mind with conditions, chronic or acute illnesses. So we, we, we launched you know, two and a half years ago almost. Um, actually, two anniversary was March 17th this year. And now you have a few new ones too, right? We just came out. Yeah, I'm actually wearing the, the two right now. We got our strength, which is our iron patch, and then our restore, which is our zinc patch. Zinc patch, yeah. So I wear, I, I I wear, wear all patches. four a day. I wear all five of our products a day. I wear the beauty one. It hasn't grown the hair back here, but it's made this nice and lush. Not yet, not yet. I <laughs> wear the zinc patch uh, for recovery I, I, at night. I sleep. I found uh, that I sleep much better, honestly, uh, wearing a zinc patch. And... Um, and let's say during the season we're at, we're in the arenas a lot. I'll wear the vitamin D patch and just to supplement a little bit. Let's say I know I'm not getting as much sunlight. Uh, it's it's obviously there's no better source than the sun to get the vitamin D. But when you have nothing else and you're in the rinks, well, you you might as well supplement and use something that you know you're going to absorb, like a vitamin patch. Absolutely. And and the other thing with the sun too that a lot of people do wrong with the sun is we need about 15 to 25 minutes of actual un unadulterated sun exposure. It can be your arm, it can be the top of your head if you're bald like me, right? It can be some extremity. But 
sun takes time to metabolize in. So a lot of people that are healthy and active say they go for a run in the morning with no sunblock on, right? No makeup with your, if you're well, male or female wearing makeup, doesn't matter. But if you're running with nothing on, that's fine. But when you come home and shower, you actually rinse off a lot of what you were trying to get in your body. It, it takes, it oh. takes a couple hours to metabolize in. So a lot of people are doing everything they can, but not actually absorbing. Now, casually throughout the day, honestly, your car at the window of your car, you're going to catch enough vitamin D. You really are. But if you're looking at it in the morning and you're in an office all day, especially in the winter. Probably in the morning, going to be a little challenge. You are. And in, in, the, in the winter here, you know, we've got shorter daylight. So uh, vitamin D is extremely important. It's extremely important right now during the pandemic, too, because um, a, a colleague of mine was just on Joe Rogan. Yeah. And, and she was talking. Yeah, exactly. Rhonda was on. And she, she was talking about the study that is one of the very first scientific medical studies that has come back with 100% accuracy that everybody that has had serious to fatal uh, reaction to COVID were vitamin D deficient. And 70% of the U.S. population is vitamin D deficient. 70%. That's a yeah, huge number. Stop you. So you have to say that again. Because yeah. it kind of, we kind of missed the connection a little bit there. It kind of went, but you said 100% of the cases that were, you'll go ahead again. 100% of the cases that were either uh, hospital, hospital worthy, where they were admitted into a hospital with serious effects or fatal, 100% of the cases that were tested were vitamin D deficient. There you go. Just and, so that, let that sink into the people here. That, that's, that's how important it is to get outside, get some sun. You absolutely. Know? And if you don't, maybe you should try a little supplementation just to help you out a little bit. Yeah. Absolutely. And, and, you know, and again, I, I encourage everybody, it's a lifestyle. You've got to be active. You've got to eat right. You've got to take care of your mind. You've got to take downtime. You've got to unplug from these devices for, you know, a couple hours a week at least. Well, I, you know, I don't, I don't do the whole take a week off and I couldn't afford to take a week off. I'd actually go stir crazy. But every night before bed, you know, 30 minutes of no phone time. Just, I have to. Everything. I turn off the news. I turn off everything because this has got to rest too. So we've got to take care of ourselves on every level. And it's hard. It's hard to do so because we're all so occupied. Right. right? Absolutely, man. Talk about a little bit uh, your, your love for the water. You know, uh, we've seen if, if people look at your Instagram, you're constantly on your on your paddle board. Uh, yeah. Getting the vitamin D, brother. But talk about how that keeps I, you active. How, how about your workouts? Um, how, how you've been uh, staying acti active while you were at home, you know, the quarantine and all that. So talk sure. a bit about how you've been staying active, your workouts, your love for the water, paddleboard, talk about that. Absolutely. So I started first when we COVID, like everybody else, posting a video a day of me doing some serious training or whatever. And, and I got bored pretty quickly of lugging the weights out onto the driveway and setting up my tripods. And I was like, and, you know, I, you and I've talked about this. I love having a trainer because I just want to be told what to do. Right. Yeah. I like just getting in there. He's like, Shane, we're working on this today. And here's your and they always have something new that you're not good at. So then it becomes a challenge. I don't push myself as hard. So I had to modify my work. It's did a lot of elasticity working out, which I know you do a lot of, right? Really like that with the even resistance. It was less impact, but I missed my paddleboard, man. I missed it so much, but I have one out in LA and I live on my boat and as you know, in Marina Del Rey. So every morning in Marina, I would go for a paddleboard and I would, and I have a stand much like the stand that I'm using right here that suctions to my paddleboard. And I can do FaceTimes like this in the Marina because I've got good LTE there. So I have my morning meetings and my calls on my paddleboard. And, and you're I just plugging it. away, just on board. <laughs> I did, and I missed That's that. awesome. I got a big big boat going by here. Sorry if you can hear it in the background. Guys, he's, he's nope, talking on I don't think I hear it. Okay. That's Anyways, cool, man. Uh, so so I, I, I reached out to a company I know up here called Pulse Stand Up Paddleboards. And yep. um, I basically said, hey, where's your closest dealer? And it ends up being a friend of mine's shop. And I was like, what do you got from last year? I don't need, I'm, I'm not going to be here forever. I don't need a $4,000 board or anything like that. I just need something to go to the lighthouse and back and get some action. So they were kind enough to, to it's Tromblaze in Aurelia, if anybody's in here. They got a ton of sub boards and Pulse was the brand. And uh, they gave me basically last year's sun damaged ish. I mean, there's nothing wrong with it, dude. It's a board, it floats, yeah, right? So sure. I'm like, great. So my morning routine now is trying to break up things a little bit, trying to do things that I wouldn't usually be able to do. You don't swim in the marina. So I've started getting activated with swimming more. So my morning routine now is the lighthouse is about 600 yards across the bay, maybe 500, 600 yards. So I do, I do an aggressive paddle over. 
So not a casual, nice relax, a real good, get your heartbeat up, both sides, two aside, go, go, go. Then I lie on my belly and I do, a, I call it pulsing. So I do like a swim on the paddle there and back as fast as I can. Sometimes like both arms at the same time. Yeah. And I'm not flexible. So it's, really, out of it's working out there. Yeah, he's coming right behind there me. There you go. The lake's the third largest natural lake in Ontario. And he's right behind me. <laughs> so, anyways, he's got a uh, nice house, you know what I mean? So, <laughs> And then the last the thing nice I house. do is I, I do a swim out to the lake house, or the lighthouse. Now I can't swim all the way and back yet. That's a thousand, thousand meters or whatever it is. I don't know the exact distance. I'm not that strong of a swimmer. So I'm going until I look back and get nervous. And I'm like, oh, I better head back. back. I'm about halfway nice. there. So the goal that's is to cool, be able to though. do it back that's, and that's forth. That's a good it's way about to get out and test yourself. That's a it's good a 37 minute yourself. workout. 37 Especially minutes. in the water, you get to test yourself, you know, where, how far you can go. And that's, well, there's, that's there is, because, the you know, yeah, there's a lot of mental, mental aptitude to that because I got almost halfway one time and I'm like, do I go the whole way? And I'm like, well, you're already halfway. Like, it's the same distance to go back. But the only reason I didn't go the finishing is because I didn't want to have to walk all the way back if I did it. I did. I'm like, if I swim back, I'm at my cottage. The other one, that's I'm funny. tired. So that's good. That's uh, doing good, that. Man. And then, you know what? Like body, a lot of body workout, like on the dock, I'll do squats. Um, I'm, I'm doing some jump squats in the water. Now, that's something that's really neat. Yeah. So I put my water shoes on and squat down and try to explode out of the water. And that's that resistance is totally different. Also, your balance, right? How everything works because you move weird through the water. It's not as fluid as you think. Yeah. So I'm thinking of putting some elasticity bands in there and doing some like on the bottom pylons of the dock. Yeah. And trying to do some stuff like underwater, a little bit like Gabby Reese and uh, and Laird Hamilton do. Have you ever seen their workouts they well, do in they, the pool? They, in sports, they use a lot of the water workouts, the hydro workouts for rehab and stuff because it's easier on the joints, but it's it's really good for resistance and and they use that a lot in sports for rehab so I, i'm not yeah. surprised that you like that and see good results that's well and it's that's good for my cool. lower back because my l3 l4 and l5 are bundled like they're oh gone yeah because of reckless youth i won't get into those details let's just say <laughs> it's all good man so you, you we did mention about the, the the life coaching a little bit what what are some of the the one two punch type things that you start off with to to really help them reactivate their lifestyle in the positive way. So the first thing that we have to do is you have to cut, you have to show up and you have to show up with truth. Okay. And that's not, there's, I've got two quick, two points that I want to give to your team and to people that are watching that are activating life. But that's the most important thing. You have to show up and you have to show up with truth. So you got to be brutally honest with yourself and where you're at and where you want to be. You can't let your, 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 your parents being jerks or your big brothers, not this or sisters that where are you right now? And where you're at, uh, this is a Dr. Phil quote, but where you're at might not be your fault, but where, where you go tomorrow is. So you have to decide that, like, I didn't, maybe I, what happened to me before might not be what's the problem. That's not my fault. But what I do with it is. So show up and show up with truth is the first thing I, I tell like all that. my clients. And when I say show up, you know, for me, it's punctuality. If you're late for a meeting with me, you don't get the meeting, right? Because we're, I've, I'm busy, you're busy. So, and then when you show up, I need you to show up with truth. But with the two things, I thought about this when you were asking me, you said you might okay. want my one, two punch. You know that I believe that it's not, it's it, my phrase, my motto is if not me, who, and if not now, when, right? I believe that we have to always be working on ourselves, future selves. And where do you, where there's, there's a great speech, Matthew McConaughey gives that I usually reference. Uh, he says he met himself. Um, he met himself from 10 years ago. And he asked the guy, he asked himself, are you happy? And he said, not yet. He said he always wanted to meet himself in the next 10 years because he was never going to be happy with who he was because he had a goal of who that person in 10 years should be. So every time he met the, 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 the previous self, are you happy? Not yet. I'll be not happy yet. when I'm you. And he said, are you happy now? No, I'm happy when I'll be you. And it kept doing that. It's a neat, it's a neat speech. It's on YouTube. I think it was a commencement speech he gave. Yes, at, it uh, was. And then he talks about how you need something to, uh, someone to look up to, something to look forward to. Yes. And, and, and things like that, right? So now. that's his Those stuff. Really so I, I don't want, I don't want, I don't want to steal that. So I'll tell you the two things I thought about this. I wanted this to stick with your team. Purposefully be creative and create purpose. Those two words combined front to back, back to front. Purposefully be creative. Every day, try to be creative, create something, create a better opportunity, create better relationships, create better friends, create a better environment yourself, a better mindset, purposely be creative and then creative, create purpose. 
because the two of them do it. And everything you should do should have some purpose. It should have some value. I, I did a post on my Instagram a couple of days ago about equity. And, and equity, we think of money. Equity is just a term for value. And we have so many more dynamics of value in our life that we have to concentrate on. Value in our, like, are you spending too much time fitness, on negative? Fitness, our... negative, like negative talk. This, you know, we live in a time with, with, with the whole world is, by, is, is divided. You know, well, where I live in the US, it's very divided, divisive. And everybody's mad at each other all the time. What a waste of energy to be arguing with people about stuff that really you're not changing. You know, like just to have a political debate with somebody on Twitter. What a terrible waste of your time. What a terrible waste of your emotion. Share what you need to share and then move on, you know, in life. Like you just have to keep moving forward, you know, yeah, always be absolutely. moving forward with purpose. So create that's, purpose and then purposefully be creative. That's, that's my uh, two things. Those are great points. And those are, those are, those are great mindsets to have, to adopt. And that's, that ties into a little bit of the Sisu concept because mm -hmm. that takes a lot of inner strength, a lot of inner will, a lot of tenacity. And, and, and sometimes to show up and show up with your truth takes a lot of courage to, to, to it's be hard. honest with yourself sometimes. And it's and hard to look is, in the mirror and say you're flawed. And it's hard to accept that, that you might be screwed up. It's really hard. And it's even harder to change it. Like I, I work, I was fortunate, man. I wanted to go get help when I went and got help. I was really lucky. I, 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 I'm better in this life than I ever was in the other one. I was a fraud in my addiction life. I was acting like an addict. I was an addict, but that was not the Shane Griffin. That was a fraudulent version but of what me. This was is the real one life. thing that changed in your mind. What was that thing that, that what was the thing that made you change it? That made me go? Um, it was, it was a, a couple different things. Uh, it was in Greece um, when I was so inebriated that I wrecked a car. And the, the, well, the truth is I liked, I, I brought a girl to Greece. I liked this girl. She was just friends. I was an arrogant putz. I thought if I took a girl to Greece, eventually she'd fall for me. I wrecked the car drunk. She wasn't in it. And she left me on the trip. And it was the first time in my life that alcohol took something away from me because I wanted that and I didn't get it. So you, and then I was so sitting, you, you changed I was, it up from there. I did. And then I went to dinner with, um, I, won't, I won't name drop, but somebody most people would know happens to be a Hollywood actor. And he was in the island and I was all busted up from this car accident. I had a concussion. I fractured my orbital, broke my nose. I was a mess, right? And um, he looked at me and he's like, You're, he goes, if you were a Hollywood movie, it's not going to end well, bud. I said, I think I yeah. need help. And he said, I think you do need help. So I flew home from Greece and then I hummed and hawed for about a month and I kind of complained and thought about it and was going to go and wasn't going to go. And then my brother recognized that I, that I was pondering this and basically said, hey, pardon my French, but he said, stop fucking around, go. What are you waiting for? And, and I just knew as soon as, as soon as I got into rehab, I knew it was going to be okay. Like I was scared going, man. You want to talk but about that's a major, that's a, that's a major resilience that you, you, you're demonstrating because a lot of people ha have a tough time, but you did it and you, and look at you now, you know, look, you're, if, you're if you know, people. some, if, if you know, something's wrong, it's your responsibility to fix it or don't complain or bitch and don't hurt anybody else by it. I didn't know I had a problem for the many years. I didn't know I had a problem. Once I recognized in my last two years, there was a problem. I said, you have a problem. I started thinking about it. You can't hide from that problem anymore. You can't be oblivious. You can't play ignorant anymore. Lots of people have anger issues and they don't know it. Lots of people are jerks. They don't know it. Once you know it, you need to do something about it if it's a problem. And if you don't, you can't really complain. But the courage to, to talking about living Sisu, the courage was calling my parents to let them know that I, at that point, even though it was common knowledge that I had a problem, was calling my parents and saying, hey, by the way, uh, I'm going to rehab, which was like totally exposing that you're going. 37 year old, I was crying like a baby to my mom on the phone saying, I'm going to rehab, I'm going to rehab. And then um, the point that I knew everything was gonna be okay though, was the day I walked, well, the day they pressed the button on the gate, admitting Shane Griffin for 30 day treatment. And I walked in and the first counselor came out and looked at me and said, why do you think you, why do you think you're abusing yourself so much? And I, and I, it just came out of me. And this is where I, I say, show up and show up with truth. This is where it comes from. This is where it comes from. Because I just blurted it out. I got no self-worth and I got no self-esteem. And he said, that's what we'll work on then. Let's get to work. So I showed go. up and I showed beautiful, up. Truth, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful talk. Life. Beautiful uh, story of resilience and, and courage and, and, and transformation, Thanks, man. That's, that's great. You, you have a great motto. You stand for some great values. And, and we're happy to have Vitamin Patch Club. Uh, I'm excited to work with you guys. Just talk a bit about Vitamin Patch Club. 
uh, what are your products and, and talk about, we did talk about how it's so efficient compared to uh, oral Absolutely. supplementation. And uh, yeah, just finish off on uh, talking about vitamin. Well, we're, e we're easily found. It's a simple, simple word, simple website, vitaminpatchclub.com. Um, we are a subscription-based model company, subscri uh, subscription model-based company. So we will deliver every day for your convenience or every month to your door, the patch you need. You can augment your subscriptions. We've got five products right now. We've got a bunch of stuff in the pipeline. I'm excited, but I can't share them yet. So keep, so sign up to the newsletter then. If you don't even want to buy, at least give us your email. And we'll let you know when the new stuff comes out because your athletes are going to love what we're doing. And I'll, I'll make sure you have samples and your team does. We have a vitamin D and C, which is our wellness patch. We have a beauty patch, which is our biotin or vitamin B7. We have an energized patch, which is vitamin B6, B9, and B12. And then we have our strength, which is iron, and our restore, which is zinc. Uh, yeah. You can wear multiple patches at the same time. You can wear them when you sleep. We suggest not wearing the energize when you sleep because it is B12. And it can... And it, it, it helps break down carbs and fats, which in turn gives you more energy. A lot of people think B12 just gives you energy. It's actually what it does molecularly in your body. That it gives helps, you energy. helps you metabolize. Yeah. So if you've eaten well that day and maybe you've got a little something going on, it's going to help break it down. So we want to avoid that. Um, and, uh, uh, you know, you wear them at sleep. You wear them for about four to six hours. Um, they are sweat proof and they are water water resistant. If you're going to be doing hot yoga, put it on after your class. Yeah, probably not the best idea. You know, I've like, we've, mistake, had, we've had some people call say it's sweat resistant. I'm like, what were you doing? Well, I was hiking in 104 degrees temperature up Runyon yes. and I had a light it. jog going and I'm like, and I had a backpack on. It was on my shoulder. I'm like, okay. <laughs> you, know, you can't get mad at people, but um, yeah, that's your bad. So vitaminpatchclub.com and then our Instagram is at vitaminpatchclub. We don't really act. We're not really active on Twitter. We find that's not a great place for us. We, 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 I don't, I don't feel like it doesn't it's feel like a great properly for you guys. That's all right. It doesn't feel like a great way for us to communicate to our, I uh, just want to let people know if they didn't know, uh, 20% off the living C yes. member to, uh, vitamin patch bulb, which is pretty significant. If you think yes. about that and you know what, Shane, I'm really happy that you're on board with us as a partner uh again you have great values you you you're the story <laughs> you live the sisu of courage determination tenacity thanks brother jesus you've been through it all and 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 that's why we 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 could count on you to tell us a good story to show people that you can activate your lifestyle that you can change for the better that that give positivity to others and uh that's what we want we want people to Absolutely. activate and uh, you're, 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 you embody that every day. So thank you, brother, for coming on. We're going to have to get a workout in soon, maybe next week in Ottawa, like we were saying. I'll and, bring the gear. Uh, I'll bring the gear. Roger I'll that. The roger that. No, I'll be there. You know that. And, and I know. Uh, I'm real happy. So uh, thank you very much. Uh, again, so everybody, Vitamin Patch Club, 20% off of Vitamin Patch Club. And, um, you know, become a member of Living Sisu. There's a lot of great things ahead. Really looking maybe forward I'll, to maybe it. I'll take over your Living Sisu Instagram account while we're camping, so they can see a Living Sisu day of activity. Oh, that's a great idea. That'd be great, brother. Yeah, we'll, we'll figure we'll it out. Talk to you real soon. All right. And Love you, buddy. Everybody, if you guys have any thanks questions, for tuning in, everyone. Message. Yeah, thanks, Shane. Thank thanks, you, brother. brother. Ciao. If you have Bye any buddy. questions, uh, let us know, and we'll 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 help you uh, figure that out with Vitamin Pass Club or anything else. So, see you guys. Have a good night.